Hey there YouTube, it's uh, Sticky Fingers back again with another MRE review. Today we have a vintage one. Now this is menu number one, pork with rice and barbecue sauce. Uh, this one's from 1990, so let's get right to it and see what's inside. All right, let's uh, have a close look at it. All right, this is menu number one, pork with rice and barbecue sauce with accessory package C. Packaged by Sopaco. Um, it's the usual MRE bag, big plastic. No apparent date codes. It's the tear notch. And that's it. Alright, let's uh, open her up. Alright, we've got the pork with rice and barbecue sauce. Smoke flavoring added. Very nice. Um, here are the ingredients. If you want to read them, go ahead and pause it. Here's the date code. We've got the usual crackers. We've got a beverage base powder, grape, very nice. All right, we've got grape jelly. We've got the small MRE spoon. Got accessory packet C, which contains coffee, cream, substitute, sugar, salt, chewing gum, matches, tissue, uh, toilet tissue, hand cleaner, and candy. So, very nice. We've got the cocoa beverage powder, type 1, fortified. These are always great. I love these things. got applesauce ingredients applesauce all right there we have all the contents we've got applesauce pork with rice and barbecue sauce beverage base powder drink crackers cocoa beverage powder grape jelly and accessory packet with the tiny spoon so let's plate it all up and try it out all right let's open these up let's start with the applesauce just your standard um, retort pouch Check out the pork with rice and barbecue sauce. Let's open up the accessory packet, see. We've got Taster's Choice, Chocolate Gum. We've got Cream Substitute, Dry Non-Dairy, Iodized Salt. We've got Domino Sugar, Moist Toilet. We've got Toilet Paper, Matches with the red tip and we've got
got a Tootsie Roll. Very nice. Yeah, for now I'll throw this in some boiling water and get it ready. All right, let's see if the coffee survives all this time. You know what, that looks pretty good. So I say let's uh, prepare some mocha, some coffee mocha. So we'll pour this in the cup. We'll add the sugar and creamer. All right, let's add the cocoa beverage powder to create some mocha. <laughs> yeah, still looks like it's in good shape, so let's go for it. There it is, the mocha coffee mix. It smells really nice. So can't wait to try it. All right, let's prepare the beverage base powder grape. Uh, this is one of my favorite drinks, aside from the cherry one. So. That looks really good, it smells almost exactly like uh, grape Kool-Aid. So my guess is it will also taste the same. Let's give it a stir. If you're curious about the ingredients, um, they are not included, so <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. There it is, very nice color, the smell is just, uh, wow, it's really good. Let's uh, check out the crackers, the famous crackers. <laughs> There's the his, so that's a good sign. And here they are. They smell a little bit stale, but uh, they're not too bad. slap some grape jelly on one of the crackers and uh, see what it looks like. That's a little bit runny. 
got some grape jelly on my hand, so let's try out the wet nap. Yeah, it kind of smells like uh, alcohol, so. Not too bad, just uh, smells a little bit funky. All right, let's get the applesauce on the plate. <laughs> That's never happened before, so. <laughs> Very interesting. There it is. It has darkened with age, so hopefully it'll still be good. So Let's check out the Tetsu roll. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> We'll try this piece. <laughs> All right, we've got the main dish warmed up, so let's open it up. There it is. This is the pork with rice and barbecue sauce. I can definitely smell the barbecue sauce. It's a uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's got a really smoky smell to it, so I'll just pour it on the plate. Yeah, it's piping hot. There it is, I can definitely smell it. Um, you see the rice grains right there and the pieces of pork. All right, let's uh, start with the crackers. Now let's try the cracker by itself. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, just a tiny bit stale. All right, let's try with the grape jelly. Let's see how that tastes. Yeah, the grape jelly is a bit off. Um, the flavor is not really there. It just kind of tastes sweet, a little bit stale. All right, let's give the mocha coffee drink mix a try. Yeah, that's very good, very sweet. Um, Slightly bit off, but uh, not too bad. All right, let's try the applesauce. There it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's a little bit bitter, kind of acidic. Um, yeah. Let's try the pork with rice and barbecue sauce. There it is. All right, down it goes. All right, that wasn't too bad. You um, can definitely taste the barbecue and uh, has a hint of smoky flavor to it. Um, the pork was a little bit tough. I was expecting it to be a bit, you know, soft or tender, but overall, you know, it's not too bad. Alright, let's try our grape drink. 
Right, down it goes. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Uh, very sweet. That uh, definitely tastes like grape Kool-Aid. Uh, no complaints. All right, let's try the Tootsie Roll. There it is. It looks like something a pet left behind. Um, <laughs> all right, let's uh, try it out. Yeah, it's a little bit stale, but um, it still tastes like a Tootsie Roll. There you have it, another vintage MRE. Uh, this was menu number one, pork with rice and barbecue sauce. Uh, like always, drinks were pretty good. Uh, no complaints there. The crackers were okay with the grape jelly, uh, not too bad. Um, applesauce was so-and-so. Tootsie Rolls were a bit off. And the pork with rice was not too bad. The pork was a bit tough, but the flavor was there. It was, had a nice smoky flavor to it. Overall, what can I say? It's a vintage one. Uh, it is what it is. So, you know, for being over two decades old, it's not too bad. But yeah, like always, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you soon. probably fermented a few times so um, yeah